What's good, you yeah, your boy Lighting, your boys back at the back of the bank, the above the screen is back with another one. Welcome back to one and only Spooky Scary Friday. Now, your boy is about to get into three true Instagram horror stories on me. That's what we're about to react to right now. Go ahead, get your snack, get your drinks, and let's get straight into it, y'all. Let's get it. Story one. It was probably two in the night when I got her text. Clara okay. wants to send you a message on Instagram. Ooh, a notification had popped up. I was on the verge of dozing off when the alert made me open one eye. She had replied to my story with a laughing emoji, and that was it. Nothing more. But something about her picture caught my attention. This music is bumping. I'd seen that face before. An above waist shot in a burgundy crop top, smiling at the camera while posing on what looked like a beach. Yes, she had apparently been on a like spree a few weeks ago. You know, one where someone keeps on liking all of your images back to back. Yeah. Did she want to grab my attention? I, had thought, I think so. But forgot about it. But when I received her text that night, I didn't know if I was supposed to respond. How do you even respond to an emoji? So, I just replied. Yo, comment down below how you respond to an emoji. I don't understand. Like, what you want to respond with? That happened to me too. Like, what you want? You just like my... Bro. She liked my picture. What you want me to say? Thank you? I like one of your pictures. I send it back? Hi. What's the response of that? Like, you just didn't say, Hey, how you doing? Or this, that, or the third. Or it's my name, this, that. You didn't say no, no normal interactions or shit. You just liked my picture and sent it to me. And what you want me to say? Like, what? Yo, comment down below. Like, if I'm saying, like, bro. The smiley. This time, her response came back in seconds. You don't remember me, do you? Ooh. Was I supposed to? Okay. She was incredibly gorgeous. She seemed a little short in height, but her affable smile pretty much didn't let you focus on it. Round spectacles adorned her oval face, and her dark, dense hair with casual brown highlights complemented gotcha. her pale skin. She had a few of her pictures amidst a gallery of beautiful shots of nature and animals and shoes, but her Nike, face okay. didn't ring any bells. Uh. Vegas, silly. I jumped. Ooh. Yes, I had been to Vegas three months ago, but that was a trip with my friends. Last I checked, she wasn't one. I seriously had no idea who she was, so I immediately searched for her Facebook profile to check for any mutual friends, but failed to find it. She has a pretty common name, so I scrolled back through her pictures on Instagram, and surprisingly enough, she had posted snaps of her vacation in Vegas at around the same time that I was there. Okay. Weird. You're not one of those guys, are you? Did we meet in Vegas? You're kidding, right? Bewildered, I checked her profile bio. Delaware, I future lawyer, past nerd, presently preparing to conquer the world. She had about 1,700 followers Damn. and followed about 120. Seemed like a genuine profile, but I had no idea who she was. I'm sorry, but I seriously doubt that we've met before. Yeah. Thirty around midnight. Omnia. She's really on on this boy trying to say, uh, "Yeah, let's try to do some." Like, girl, she doesn't number you. He doesn't remember you. Why are you so locked in? Damn. Oh, holy crap. I, I was actually there that night. Omnia in Caesar's Palace is one of the most popular nightclubs of Vegas. But I still didn't remember her. Yeah? You were with your friends. That fat one hit on my bestie. Bouncers came. Yes, my friend Dick was being a dick to these girls, but we sorted things out. They actually joined us afterwards, but... I still didn't remember her. Okay. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure Bro, you memory might be worse than mine. Weren't one of them. You're kidding, right? Remember, you're still not over your girlfriend's mysterious death? This was what? It. No way. Not even my closest friends were aware of it. I had left my hometown 2 years ago to build a new life after my girlfriend was found. <sighs> well, let's just say that there was no way she could have known. Who are you? How do you know this? You told me. In Vegas. You what? weren't even that drunk. Anyway, just 
wanted to let you know. Thought we could reconnect, but clearly you don't want to. No. No, I, I was pretty sure that I did not meet her at any point of time. Neither in Vegas, nor even how, in my freaking How she knows dreams. that then? So, I did what any sane guy would. I took a Snapchat of her pic and sent it to my friend Dick. But even he didn't remember seeing that woman. My memory wasn't betraying me. I had never met that woman in my life. But then how on earth did she know about my girlfriend's mysterious death? Oh, I got no. back to her a few minutes later. Okay, this is crazy, but there is no way on earth that I would forget meeting someone. It's fine. This must be really random for you. I understand. But how what? do you know all that stuff? Because, well, we spoke with each other for a while before your group separated. Remember? Okay, there's no way I could have told you about my girlfriend. Or you were drunk beyond your senses. <laughs> LOL. Blackout? I closed my phone, threw it on the bed, almost died as I saw it making an what? abnormal bounce and landing just short of the edge. But I couldn't bloody remember meeting her at all. She wasn't in that group of girls. I, I could have been mistaken, but she had narrated almost all the details of that night with absolute accuracy, and yet, yeah, she was never there. Something was wrong, and that is when I remembered my girlfriend's middle name was Clara. What? The phone buzzed again. I opened Instagram again and saw that she had sent an image found this <laughs> it was a pic which made my head swirl he was a pic which made me sick to the stomach it what is a pic which made me rub my eyes more than a dozen times she had casually clicked my picture that night outside of caesar's hotel same jacket same shoes same glasses but in my glasses i saw her reflection which sent a wave of shivers down my spine her high cheekbones, her thin lips, her sharp jawline, her dark hair, her hazel eyes. It was my girlfriend. What? My girlfriend whom I had buried with my own hands. How? I opened her profile again, and in all the images of Clara, I saw my smiling, beautiful, dead girlfriend. As I got tears. chills. Oh my, I got too many chills. Oh boy, I got chills, but what? I didn't get shoes like this for a while. Ran down my eyes. She texted me again. I miss you on this side, boo. A ghost is texting you? Stored. That was crazy. This happened two years ago now. Okay. I'm a female and live alone in an apartment building. Like many people, I have an Instagram page that I post on pretty regularly. I, I, mean, I do post on Instagram pretty regularly. Say I post on average at least once a month. I enjoy posting pictures on Instagram, but I know that occasionally you have to deal with a bot or a creepy person. Yeah. For the most part, I hadn't had any bad experiences until this happened. One day I opened the Instagram app and saw that I had a direct message. It was from one of my followers, a guy named Tim. I oh. Know him and I didn't follow him either. I'm not sure how long he had been following me. Hey, bro. He found the 5,000 people. He got only 205 followers. 27 posts. Don't follow back. I'm just saying. A message asking if I could come and hang out with him. Hex now. I found this to be kind of weird and did not respond. I mean, he didn't even have a conversation with me and I didn't know him. Yeah, no hello. Now, how you doing? Just say yes. And based on his profile picture, I wasn't interested in him. Yeah. I figured that he wouldn't message me again after that. But the next day, he sent me another em. message. He once more asked me to hang out with him and said that he could pick me up. This time, I responded and said, No thanks. I appreciate the offer, though. Okay. But he had to understand that I wasn't interested. Tim then tried to convince me, but I ignored him. Hey, bro, you didn't even say, Hey, how you doing? I'm from here. You're from here. No regular conversation. You're just jumping into the gun. Pause. Come hang out with me, bro. We don't even know you. She don't even know you. I didn't really know why he was sending me these messages seemingly out of nowhere. The next day, I didn't get any more messages from him. I figured that he would stop communicating with me at that point. The following night, I went grocery shopping after work. I would go shopping occasionally here and there whenever I needed to. 
I didn't have a particular routine or anything. I was inside of the store shopping for about 20 minutes. The okay. time was probably about 8 p.m. or so. I'd be flying when After you shop. After I was done shopping, I headed out to my car in the parking lot. By now, it was mostly quiet, but there were a few people here and there. I got all the way to my vehicle, only to see that there was a car parked next to me. What? I started to take my groceries out of the cart and put them in my car. That's when the door opened to the car next to me and a guy got out. I did not recognize him. He just seemed like another guy going shopping. But he didn't walk to the store and instead headed straight for me. Hey, that's sometimes females keep a taser on you, a pepper spray on you. Even men, keep your pepper spray on you, boys. Keep the taser on you. Or a little bit of pocket knife. You feel what I'm saying? For the self-protection, I'm telling you. As soon as you hit somebody with that taser, they as laying and as not getting up no more. I'm telling you, bro. Self defense, self defense, and self protection is the first thing you need to do when you get out of the house. Put clothes on that you feel comfortable in moving in, in, or maybe put shoes on that you got a lot of grip on the floor. I'm just saying. At first, I was confused, but he then said my name and asked me why. Take the taser out. Morning. I realized that it was Tim from Instagram. Take the taser out. From his picture at that point. Paper spray. I was too confused to say anything though. He said that he was here now. And we were together, so we may as well hang out. What? I finally spoke and asked him what he was doing and how he knew I would be here. He claimed that it was a coincidence. No, it was I not a coincidence. My groceries in my car and said that I had to get home. Yeah. I closed my trunk and then tried to walk around him to my driver's door. Okay, he now stopped you stopped me by grabbing my arm. Now, now that's too I'm telling you, kick, or kick them, kick him in the balls. If every man falls there, if I'm saying, if you kick him at the at the area, um, you're gonna fall. They're gonna fall. So kick him in the balls. He telling he you, bro. Come on. With him. Kick I him in the balls. Go and said that he was hurting my arm. Kick him in the balls. Away towards his car. He was a lot stronger than I was. Kick him in the moving towards his vehicle. You got then, the whole motion. You got the space. He grabbing your arm. You can swing that leg back or not swing it back. And he that bitch in the mouse. What's the problem, people? And this is true stories. What's the problem? You cannot hit him in the balls? What are you scared of? He's gonna drop on his knees. He's gonna let go of your hand. He's not gonna squeeze your head. No. He's gonna let go of your hand. And you can get in your car and go. And I started yelling as loud as I could. I was yelling help and telling him Kick. to let me go. Pokemon Eye. There were luckily a few people that were walking to their cars in the parking lot a ways away. They took notice of what was going on though. And when Tim saw this, he let me go and told me to shut up. I instantly ran around my car for the driver's door and got inside. Tim followed me, but I locked the door before he could get in. What? I didn't waste any time, and I drove out of there. Banging on the window Tim too? Tim had to run back to his car, and I left the parking lot extremely fast. By the time he started his car, I had already left. I went around another nearby store that was out of his sight. Hey, keep your strap on you, I'm just saying. residential roads until I was sure he wasn't following me. After that, I drove home. I was so focused on not letting him follow me that I forgot to call the police for a while. But eventually, I did. I told him everything that happened, but when I got to my Instagram page, his account was gone. Yeah. I think he deleted it. Still, after that night, I never saw Tim or heard from him again. Creepy ass boy. I'm telling you, this third story, this shit going kind of quick. This happened to me when I was in college. It was during I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, I'm giving y'all tips, if I'm saying. That's useful. Pokemon Eye. Is this that is I don't know this is real true story. That's why I'm kinda like thinking like why are you not thinking about that? This is real true story, Instagram horse true stories. So bro, kick him in the balls, poke him in the eye. You can do a lot of stuff with it, bro. Pause. Like why are we like acting like okay he got my hand, I cannot do nothing about it. You got the whole everything to do about it, bro. Do something about it. My university. Okay. I lived in a small house, which I shared with my roommate, Thomas. The university I went to is rather large, and I think has about 20,000 total students. This took place sometime during the first semester. I remember that one day, I went on Instagram and saw that I had a new follower. I looked on the profile, and it was a girl named Rhonda. 
Okay. She had my school initials in her profile. Ooh. That was what I assumed would be her graduating year. Gotcha. She was also following 2024? Two people that I knew from college. None of my really close friends, but some guys that I knew who they were and followed them. I realized that Rhonda must have went to my school and I followed her back. Okay. On her profile. She didn't have too many pictures. Oh, hey, it's not on follow. And some pictures of her dog. That was about it. On follow. After following her back, I went on with things and didn't think much of it. A few days went by. Then one day, I noticed that Rhonda liked all of my pictures on Instagram. Now, I had about 40 posts or so, dating all the way back to my early years of high school. She liked every single photo, and I found that nice, but also a little bit random and odd. I thought that maybe she liked me or something. She didn't comment on anything or send me any messages, though. Now, several more days went by after this. Then, one night, Thomas was studying at a classroom, and I was at home by myself. There was then a knock on the door. It was probably about 9 o'clock at night, and I wasn't expecting anybody and had no clue as to who it was. Okay. I had been in my room, so I didn't hear the knock very well. For sure, so I got up and went out into the hallway, and then I heard another knock. But I realized then that the knocking was coming from the back door of the house, not even the front door. Now, this was really strange. I walked over to the back door and looked out the window. No, it's her. When I did, I saw a girl standing there. It was Rhonda. At first, I didn't recognize her, because I had only seen some selfies of her on Instagram. I don't yeah. think I had ever seen her in person before. As I was standing by the door, she tried opening it up. Then I opened up the back door and said hi to her. I then asked her what she was doing here. She asked me if she could come inside. I had a bad feeling about it. Something about her was sort of creeping me out. Yeah, for sure. Look at her smile. That she showed up unannounced to my back door at 9 o'clock at night. And by the way, she had no way of knowing where I lived. I asked her how she knew where my house was. She just asked to come inside again. I really didn't want her to. So instead, I told her that I was really busy with homework and I had to get back to it. She just stood there for a moment looking disappointed. Okay. She said that she was just going to go and walked off sort of angrily. I was glad that she was going, but more confused than anything. After she left, I went back inside and went into my room. Then I blocked Rhonda on Instagram. Yep. I felt that she had crossed the line by showing up unannounced like that. For sure. When Thomas got back home, I asked him if he knew Rhonda at all. He said no. I showed him her picture, and he still didn't recognize her. I told him what happened, and he was just as confused as I was. Okay. I was hoping that maybe he had known Rhonda, and she asked him for the address or something. But the fact that he didn't made it that much more creepy and weird. The very next night, I was pulling a late-night session of homework. I had some stuff due at 11.59 p.m. I was trying to get it done at the last moment. It was probably like 11.30, and I was almost done when I heard Thomas call me from the living room. He was in there watching TV, and I asked him what he wanted. Then he told me that there was a girl standing at the front door. Okay, I stop. Was. I got up and walked out into the living room. I looked out the front door to see Rhonda just standing there. But she didn't knock on the door or anything. She appeared to look over and notice me. Then she turned and ran off. It was the creepiest what? thing ever. I went back and finished my homework and then joined Thomas watching TV in the living room. We kept glancing out the windows to see if she would come back. But luckily, she didn't. After that, I never saw her again. I remember I asked Thomas to look her up on Instagram months later in the school year. She had a few more pictures then and appeared to still attend our university. I still don't know what she was doing. It was really creepy behavior, though. Got you, champ. I mean that, right? I'm not gonna lie. The last Spooky Scare Friday scared the crap out of me. Not this one, but this one didn't even give your boy chills. But it was good. It was comp. I'm gonna see your boys in the next one. If you want more Spooky Scare Friday, you know what to do. And uh, yeah, bro. If you want to react to any of y'all spooky scary animated videos, you can go ahead and drop them in the comments of this vid. I'm going to see you boys in the next one.